it's good to remember that any kind of guarantee has to have some type of backer, right? Hi there, John Stevenson here, the Guaranteed Retirement Guy, and I want to talk to you today about the guarantee associations for insurance companies. So insurance companies um, are safe, and I preach that they're safe, and it's it's a well-known fact that they are one of the safest uh, things to uh, put your money in as far as annuities, life insurance, uh, health insurance, um, lots of different insurances. And the reason why annuities, to me, are one of the safest, because these insurance companies are so heavily regulated that they are required to have dollar for dollar, you put in a hundred grand, they're required to have a hundred grand. Okay, if they are giving, if they're providing benefits of $300,000 to you, they're required to have $300,000. Much, much different than a bank. A bank, you put a hundred grand in, they're gonna immediately lend out $90,000 and keep 10 grand in there, okay? Uh, the State Guarantee Association does not allow insurance companies to do that, okay? They're, they are heavily, heavily regulated. So these associations, they're in every single state, and I would say, uh, pretty much without any exception, every single insurance company has to be a member, okay? And basically what happens is, is if an insurance company starts having financial difficulties, okay? Um, then what happens is the State Guarantee Association will step in and they will look at their assets and determine if they need to liquidate, okay? Now, of course, they're going to try to, you know, keep that from happening, but in some cases, that needs to happen. There are also uh, other insurance companies that will step in and take over as well, if possible, because uh, those are some pretty substantial assets. Um, but the thing to remember with, with the uh, state guarantee associations is the fact that they assess all of the insurance companies. And so what they do is if for some reason an insurance company fails, they're going to take all of that insurance company's assets, liquidate it, and give it all back to the policyholders and make them whole. That's why I go back to the reserve requirement. If the reserve re requirement is really, really high, then most of the time you're gonna have all the assets that you need um, to make everyone whole. That's why they're so safe. But here's, here's the extra um, layer of protection that, that I really like, is the fact that uh, the insurance the, the State Guarantee Association, they will actually assess other insurance companies for the amount that they need to cover those claims. So if, if for some reason they liquidate the assets of the insurance company and they don't have enough, then they'll just assess the rest of the insurance companies to get the money that they need to pay back the policyholders. So pretty cool. If you're looking for guarantees, there is nothing quite like the guarantee that, that a life insurance company will give you for life insurance and annuities. So. It's good to remember that any kind of guarantee has to have some type of backer, right? And it's only as good as whoever backs it, right? So the FDIC insurance, right? Um, that's backed by the U.S. government. And of course, you know, the U.S. government is very, very strong. And so we trust in that. And But of course, it's only as strong as them. So if the U.S. Go US government fails, and so does all our banks. So insurance companies... Well, guess what? They, uh, they've they been around for a long, long time, hundreds of years. And they're very, very solvent because of their high reserve ratio. And the fact that they are dealing with people's life insurance, as well as their retirement accounts with annuities, they are regulated on a much higher level than banks are. And so because of that, you have a much, much safer uh, product to put your money in versus versus really most anywhere else, in my opinion. So anyways, I do get that question every now and then. People ask, well, how much am I insured for? Uh, most guarantee associations will insure you up to $250,000. There are some other states that will do a little bit more, um, but I would say on average, the normal is around that 250 figure. So does it mean that if you put in more money that they won't um, cover that? No, I would think if, if, if they're able to, they'll, they'll cover that as well. If you put a million dollars in, I don't, I don't see why they won't cover that. Just because FDIC has gone in and they've, they've also have made people whole well above their limits as well. So, but here's the thing, if you are concerned about that limit, then just spread your money out. 
Okay, put your money in four different companies. If you got a million dollars, put it in four different companies. But most of the time, you don't need to do that. Most of the time, it, you just pick a carrier that's A-rated, that's been around for 100 years, that's really strong, really well capitalized. You do something like that, you're, it's virtually impossible to lose that money. So nothing's impossible. Anything could happen, right? I mean, you have a big war and, and nuclear war. I mean, it, it's not likely, but it could happen, right? Okay. It's the same thing with uh, A plus rated companies that have been around for 100 years. I've got a trillion dollars in assets. They are probably uh, fail proof, I mean, at, at this point. But you never know, right? There's always a risk in anything. So that's why you have the State Guarantee Association that backs you up. You've got other insurance companies that, that uh, these insurance carriers will pay insurance premiums to, to spread out their risk. I didn't even talk about that in that in this video. That's just an extra layer of protection that they do on top of that. So you have a lot of different layers that protect you. And that's important because when I talk about annuities, I talk about guarantees, I talk about protections, and it's important for you to understand where those come from. All right, so I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please like, uh, share, subscribe. And, uh, and if you want to chat about your situation, you want to talk about annuities for your portfolio, then book a call. You notice there is a link below this video and it might make sense for us to chat and see exactly what you're looking for. And of course, I'm, I'm an open book. I'm going to show you everything that's available and answer your questions. And of course, if you are looking to purchase an annuity, I'd love to be your partner and help you do that. So anyways, hope that was helpful and look forward to seeing you next time. Hey there. If you like watching me and I'm getting you the answers that you want, let me know in the comments section. Look forward to hearing from you.